my name is Alejandra Landano and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this channel, you find lots of videos specifically about teaching and working online from home. In today's video, I'm going to share some information about Canva and how I use this wonderful tool on OutSchool. I'm going to talk about how I got Canva Pro for educators for free how I use another application to remove my background in photos, how I use Canva Pro to create thumbnails, how I use Canva Pro to create worksheets, and how I use Canva Pro to create presentations. I am going to take you on my computer, so let's go. If you're an educator, you may qualify to have Canva Pro for free. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how you can fill out the application so you can get Canva Pro for free. So what I do first is I just go to Google and I'm going to type Canva Pro for educators. Now, the first one that pops up is what you'll be able to click. I usually hit apply for, and then you see here it has the application. So you read through everything, check to see if you're eligible in the first place. Now, if you work for OutSchool, you will be eligible. And then you simply fill out all this information. I'm going to do a trial run for you. So let's say, I'm filling everything out, my first and last name. I will put OutSchool as my school name. I will put OutSchool.com as the website. So you can see I'm filling everything out. And then you would put your existing Canva account. I already have a Canva account. So I would have entered that in there. And then here I wrote very quickly how I would like to use Canva with for my students. Now here I wrote down that I create PowerPoints for my students. I create worksheets for my students. I create thumbnails for my classes. So there are lots of different things you could type in that box. Now for this section, I simply took a screenshot of my OutSchool homepage. It says um, like the salary, like how much I've made, how many followers I have, all of that kind of stuff. I took a screenshot of that and then I uploaded it here. Then I would hit that button and submit. And it should take a few days for you to get Canva Pro for free. Now, if you do get the Canva Pro for educators, there's one little drawback, at least in my opinion. You no longer have the background remover. Well, I'm gonna show you what another teacher has shared with me, how you can get a free app to remove your background perfectly. So let's open another tab here, and I am going to type remove BG. Remove background from image. I'm gonna click that. You will create an account. You can see I'm already logged in, but it's a free account that you're gonna create. And then you'll simply upload the image. So I'm gonna give you an example. I have an image right here. I'm gonna drop and drag my image. And you can see it's working. And there you go. I download it. And then my image is all set. And then I can eventually use this image in Canva. And let me show you how I kind of do that as well. So I'm gonna save it. Okay, now I'm on canva.com. I'm gonna show you how I create a thumbnail. I always go to templates and Instagram posts. I just like the shape of that one in particular, and I'm gonna create a blank new one. So very, very quickly, I'm going to show you how I can use my now, my photo that has no background and create nice, attractive Canva thumbnails per se. So I already have a video that goes into a little bit more detail as to how I create Canva thumbnails, but I'll show you very, very quickly how easy it is. Um, so I'm gonna pick a very quick background. Look, I already have ABC there. Let's do this one, this one's cute. Nice and colorful. 
And then I will simply drag and bring it over. And there I am. So my background is gone and it's for free. Now, I also use Canva to create worksheets and PowerPoints for my lessons. So let me show you how I do some of those. If I go to the templates and I click worksheets, there are tons and tons of wonderful examples. You can use one of these samples or you can totally start from scratch. So for example, let's say I'm gonna pick this one. I'm creating a class that has to do with the sky. Let's pick that. So I'm gonna use the template. And then you can see here, I can edit every single thing on here. For instance, I don't necessarily want any of these. I just want name. And instead of my sky, let's say I'm making a class about plants. So I want it to say my plant diary. So I can easily change it. And let's put some little plants here instead. I would search for plants. And then here what's cool is I could look for black and white. So black, white, apply filters, and then I have things that could actually match my worksheet. And for this, I don't really need direction, so I could just easily delete that all. And then let's say this is day, we're comparing plants for a week. Day one, and then day 14. But you can see, I don't know what this is. I don't like those boxes. Um, but you can see how it's very easy to manipulate and change and make it however you want. I could even change these little star things if I really wanted to. And make them little plants. <laughs> and then I always rename it here, so my plant diary and to download it you hit that save you'll hit download and then you're all set your worksheet is here for you so very very easy great resource for making worksheets now I also use Canva to make presentations most of my classes include some sort of presentation so I would go to presentation and I don't love these templates as much, but there are tons of great templates that you can use. I generally just create my own. And then you will just start designing your template. Actually, let's say I wanna use this one. I use, I've used this one before, and you can just pick one page. So let's say I want this class to be about the ABCs. by Mrs. Alejandra. So very basic, I could change the colors of these. Let's say I don't want yellow. I could pick another color, purple. And then you can either duplicate the page so you get the same exact page. And sometimes I do this if I just wanna make minor changes or you can just add a brand new page and you start creating things. So let's say this class, we're gonna talk about every letter of the alphabet. So let me see if I like any of these styles here. Eh, I don't really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my own text, add a heading. This is gonna be all about letter A. Let's make it big. And let's say we're gonna find words to start with A, like apple and astronaut. And then maybe my students have to come up with their own words. So question mark. My students have to think of their own. Boop, what's another one? Now, let's say you want to duplicate this, you will simply hit duplicate, and then I could just make minor changes. So instead, I want letter B, not C, B, and I could change these to B words like 
Balloon. I can't spell balloon, but it still understood what I was saying. And then question mark. And you can continue. Now, when I save these, again, you're going to hit that. Download. Now, just a little tip. When I actually present it, I like to go to view and I view it as a single page. So it's just a lot nicer. And then I just hit my arrow to look through the slides. So very easy, very simple. Now this wraps up our video for today. I hope you found some of these tips and suggestions helpful for using Canva Pro. If you want more information about OutSchool, definitely check out some of my other videos on this channel. And as always, if you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.